Chapter 2 Non-Invasive Ventilation Setup Let's continue our demonstration by setting up V680 for non-invasive ventilation. If you've worked with the V60, except for a few subtle differences, you already know how to operate the V680. Connect the single limb circuit, filter, and proximal pressure line to the designated connections. Although nothing will be connected to the ESIS cartridge during single limb ventilation, the cartridge still needs to be installed correctly for the V680 to operate. Covering the ESIS port with a filter protects the invasive ventilation exhalation components from liquid or airborne ingress when not in use. Now we will power up the unit. Touch the power button. V680 first enters into a power on self test to check functionality and alarms. Note that the audible alarm gets progressively louder. This is a good time to mention that V680 has an escalating audible alarm feature that will get progressively louder if a clinician does not respond promptly to a high priority alarm. The audible alarm will escalate to the maximum decibel level, regardless of where the alarm volume was set. This is a unique safety feature. After the power on test is completed, V680 gives you the option of continuing with the settings that were active when it was last turned off or starting over with a new configuration. For this demonstration, let's touch New Patient. This opens the ventilator configuration screen. For consistency and ease of use, when setting up either invasive or non-invasive ventilation, you will use the same screen. But, please note that only the settings applicable to your selected configuration are displayed. See what happens as we select different configurations. Select Adult Patient, Single Limb NIV, and No Humidity Management. Note that we could also have selected single limb invasive ventilation and the rest of the settings would change to accommodate this circuit type. Next, select the leak symbol that corresponds to your Philips Respironics mask. If you are using another manufacturer's mask, enter other. Next, select the exhalation port. Confirm you have filters installed and touch the Start SST button if you are using a mask and circuit other than one from Philips Respironics. If you're using a Philips Respironics mask and DEP circuit, you can skip the SST if you don't need to check the function of a remote alarm. As with V60, all of the data pertinent to this mask and circuit is automatically loaded into V680, saving valuable setup and testing time. Simply touch the Accept Settings and Enter Standby Mode. V680 will continue in standby mode for you to fine-tune the patient settings. Adjustments are made with the familiar touch, adjust, accept method. V680 will stay in the suspended state until it detects you have either connected it to a patient or you touch the start button. Be careful not to block the Y until you are ready to connect the patient as this will be interpreted as a connection and ventilation will begin. Before ventilation commences, you can review all of your alarm settings and make appropriate adjustments. Let's fine-tune a few alarms. Simply touch the alarm and adjust the setting with the arrows. When you are ready, connect your patient and V680 will automatically start ventilating.